You know what you need in Hawaii? Bug spray. Bug spray makes it possible to get out here with the wind blowing and shoot YouTube videos because without deep woods off long lasting protection, the mosquitoes and whatever them other little biting critters are would done eat me alive. What today's YouTube video is about is, is how I get sharp photos with my X-T3 and my old manual Nikkor lenses. I brought this 500 millimeter mirror lens with me. I've brought this 105 millimeter, the 200 millimeter, all these being primes. These are old, this is, these are, this is an AI, none of which are electronic and none of which have autofocus. They don't even have auto aperture control on the X-T3. I have to shoot in manual, that's what it boils down to. I have a system for getting sharp in focus photos with the X-T3 with these old primes that works pretty much every time. So let's do this. Basically, I reprogrammed one of the buttons on the camera to do a different function from what it was set at the factory to do. And this allows me to zoom in. It's the uh, focus magnification function. Um, I don't use AEL, which is automatic exposure lock, and I don't use AFL, which is autofocus lock. Since I never use those two functions, I've reprogrammed the autofocus lock button to back button autofocus for my Fuji lens. And then the AEL button is focus magnification for manual focus. So I can zoom in, get a good crisp focus, make sure I'm on what I'm wanting to be focused on before I press the shutter. And then when you hit the shutter, it automatically defaults back to regular view, and then you you can get your composition, take your take your image, of course. So by setting the AEL button to focus check mode, it allows me to zoom in and confirm that I'm actually focused on the part of the frame that I want to be focused on before I fire the shutter. Now it's a little difficult trying to photograph birds with a 500 millimeter with this function. Yeah. It's manageable, but a 500 millimeter autofocus lens would be so much easier. <laughs> but that is how I'm able to get such crisp focus with a manual focus lens on the X-T3. Okay, you know, this setup is very compact. The reason I like this setup here is because of its compactness. It's not because it's cool or whatever. Look how small it is, that's 500 millimeters. And it's, you know, it fits in my backpack. I've got this Streetwalker 2 by Think Tank Photo backpack. And I have this, the 105, the 200 millimeter, that 28 millimeter Sigma lens, and then the factory kit lens, plus a bunch of filters and a Rocket Air strap, charger for the camera. It's all in that bag. It all fits in one camera bag that I can walk on the airplane. That's why I like this setup. And it allows me to have, it, this is a, optically a very sharp lens. It's a really nice piece of glass. I mean, so why not? Another thing to consider when you're worrying with manual focus lenses is camera shake. You're gonna get camera shake. So the only way I can find to mitigate this is tripods or increasing the shutter speed. Higher shutter speeds is gonna also necessitate the use of higher ISOs. So just expect that you're gonna to have to run the ISO up some to keep your exposure up. Cause like with that 500 millimeter, it's a fixed F8 aperture. So I can't go any larger and I can't go any smaller. So I only have two functions I can adjust. So to freeze action, I like to run about one 500th of a second with it. And there's a lot of camera shake with that lens. And because of that, I want a, a high shutter speed. Like I said, 1500 is about the lowest I want to be with it. To get good photos, I'm running one 1,000th, one 2,000th in bright sun. And when I do that, I'm going to have to have a higher ISO to get those kind of shutter speeds and get a proper exposure. So that's something to keep in mind when you're running the, running the setup like I'm running here. When you're running these kinds of rigs, like I'm putting together here, these Franken rigs, if you want to call them that, then you have to have some understanding. Since I don't have stabilized glass or an IS in the camera, I have to figure out a way to get sharp images without it. I can either run a tripod 
which I prefer not to do most of the time, or I have to run the shutter speeds way up. Well, if I'm running up the shutter speeds, I also have to run the ISO up since like with the F8 lens, that 500 millimeters fixed F8 aperture. So I can't open up the aperture to compensate. So all I have is ISO and um, shutter speed. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But so you just gotta keep that in mind. Keep your shutter speed up and it'll get good sharp photos. If you're running a variable aperture lens, you may have to run wide open. That's just a, a necessity of the function of the camera system is just to get your shutter speed up. You know, larger apertures let more light in, yada, yada, yada. It's just something to keep in mind. So don't let the fact that you don't have image stabilization or autofocus lenses stop you from taking good pictures. That's what I was trying to get to with this.